back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't ever miss an upload from me. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for coming back for another video. So today I'm gonna be talking about products that you need. You need in your life for the spring and summertime. So I'm gonna be covering body care and makeup. So we're gonna talk about some body scrubs, makeup setting sprays, fragrances, just a little bit of everything. And I feel like I pretty much have you guys covered because I'm a total product junkie and I just have so many different items like this and in the summertime I just like to try out new items I don't know it seems like normally in the fall and winter time I kind of stick to what I know like I do have you know a specific group of things that I use but I don't feel like I switch it up a lot but there's something about like the warmer weather that just makes me want to do it do it you know you just want to be a little bit more fly in the summertime is that just me I don't know like when spring and summer comes like I just feel like I need to hit the gym you know I just need to get a little bit you know better shape I just want to do it you know I just want to look real good when the weather gets warmer so yeah I just have so many different products to talk about with you guys and I literally could talk about this stuff all day because like I said I'm a product junkie and I just love talking about all of these different items and I'm so excited to be doing this video because hopefully you guys can get some ideas if you're thinking about trying you know like a specific body oil or a fragrance or something maybe I can give you guys an idea of what to give a try so we're gonna go ahead and hop into it I'm gonna start off with fragrances so for me personally fragrance is something that I tend to change up often I'm not one of those girls that has just one signature fragrance that I wear all the time I mean I do have signature fragrances but I like to switch it up you know sometimes I get bored so I'm always trying something different I have a huge 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 perfume collection because I'm just all the time trying new things and I'm also subscribed to scent bird which I absolutely love it definitely comes in handy whenever you're trying to find something new as far as a fragrance so I just kind of want to talk about that really quickly because it is seriously absolutely amazing if you guys don't know what Scentbird is then you must be new to my channel because I feel like I talk about them all the time because I absolutely love 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 them so it's a monthly subscription you pay $14.95 a month and you can try out a designer fragrance and it comes in a little valve like this so as you can tell, it's a pretty big size and it has the perfume in it. So what I love about this is you can actually try this out for an entire month. Like it has a full month supply in it. And for $14.95, you know, you can see if you really love, love, love the fragrance. Because what happens to me a lot of the times is I'll smell a fragrance in a department store and then I get it home and I'm like, I don't know if I really love this. I feel like by trying Scentbird, I really get to know if I like it and if it's gonna work with my body chemistry. So I picked out a few different ones for the spring and summertime. These are completely random. I pretty much just got on their website and read the description and I was like, hmm, that sounds good for spring. Hmm, that sounds good for summer. So yeah, I've never tried these before, but I've already smelled them and y'all, they smell so good. So this first one is called Glossier You. I've never heard of this one before but it smells so good. Like, I feel like if this works well with my body chemistry, then I'm definitely gonna be buying a full bottle of this one because it just, it smells so fresh and it's not like anything that I have in my perfume collection. So I absolutely, I love it. It's kind of, it's fresh, but it's also kind of fruity, which I love a fruity fragrance, but I don't like anything that's juvenile when it comes to fruity because sometimes fruity fragrances, they can get a little bit juvenile, but this one smells really, really great. So. I would highly, highly recommend this. Like, I think I did really, really good with this one. And I love the little um, cases that they come in. They're super cute. And then they always put it in this little velvet pouch as well. So I think that's really convenient. And these are really easy to throw in your purse as well. So this next one, this one is by Kate Spade and it's called In Full Bloom. So this one isn't really my favorite. It does have a really floral fragrance to it, which is what I expected because it is called In Full Bloom. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't like it as much as the first one that I just showed you guys. But yeah, it smells really nice. And as you guys can tell, it has a good amount of fragrance. So you don't have to worry about it running out really quickly. Like the little small ones that they'll sometimes get you at the, give you at the department store. And I don't really like those because you have to take the top off and you have to like, you know, you have to flip it over on your wrist. Like you can't just spritz, spritz and walk under it or anything like that. So I do like that these you're able to spray and it does come with a good amount of fragrance. So this next one, this one is Versace Bright Crystal. And this one is really nice as well. I still don't think it beats the Glossier U, 
but it is nice it's very very fresh it's very fresh it almost has like a powder fragrance to it but i like the way that this smells it's really nice for summertime or springtime so yeah i just really love trying scentbird because it's an affordable way to try new fragrances and they have over 450 different ones to choose from so there's a ton of variety and they're all completely authentic so you don't have to worry about getting a knockoff or anything like that so if you guys are interested in scentbird there will be a link below and i do have a discount code that will get you 30% off. The code is Nitra30. So I will have everything linked below. And Scentbird now has like their own bath and body line, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm super duper excited to do so because you guys know that I just love my bath and body care items and I love smelling good. I mean, don't all of us just love to smell good? Like nobody wants to walk around smelling funky. So yeah, I just love smelling good and smelling fresh and clean. So the fragrances that I just mentioned, those were just a few different ones that I picked to try out for the warmer months. But I will will say that the glossier you one is probably my favorite one and I do think I'm gonna get a full size of that one but I also want to talk about one fragrance that was my favorite last summer this perfume I pretty much used all summer 17 I absolutely love it so it's the Tom Ford Sole Blanc Sole Blanc this smells so great you guys in my opinion this is the epitome of summertime it literally smells like being at the beach it kind of has like a suntan fragrance to it and I know you're probably like wait what it smells like suntan and lotion i don't know like i cannot really explain it but it smells so good like when i smelled this i just immediately envisioned being at the beach and this fragrance is really pricey so what i decided to do because i just wanted to know for myself and you know let you guys know i decided to go ahead and get the dry oil because i was like well can you save a little bit of coins and just get the dry oil and you know it worked as well as the actual perfume so i feel like with this you can you can get the dry oil and it smells exactly the same but what what I like to do with the dry oil is I like to spray it all over myself like literally all over whenever I get out the shower and my body's still a little bit of damp I like to put this just all over and just kind of press it into my skin and I feel like it just kind of it just absorbs it. it just my skin absorbs it and then later if I start sweating or something it just kind of lifts off that aroma is that weird I don't know if that's weird but I feel like that's what it does and it just smells absolutely amazing but what's even more amazing if, is if you can layer this with the perfume it's like it's double whammy you guys and on top of the dry oil spray they also have a body oil so literally if you do all three it's just gonna be you're gonna smell so so great because I feel like with the fragrance alone it doesn't really last that long even though it's super pricey and you would think that it would last all day and all night it really does not last that long especially for the price but if you do layer all three it's just going to be just a yummy yummy delicious just goddess mess <laughs> it ain't gonna be a mess it's gonna be great you guys I promise you but I do love layering these, but if you don't really want to fork out all the money for the perfume, then I would say just go with the dry oil spray, spread all over yourself whenever you get out the shower when you're kind of still a little damp, you know, just kind of press it into your skin and it's just going to smell really, really great throughout the day. So of course in the summertime, we're showing a little bit more skin and when you're showing a little bit more skin, you want to make sure that there's no crusty, rusty areas. You want to make sure that everything is really nice and exfoliated. So now I'm going to talk about some body scrubs. So you guys already know, I absolutely love Soap and Glory's body scrubs. Love, love, love them. So I was able to put this one in my beauty box this year and I was so excited about that because I have been loving Soap and Glory for such a long time. If you've been around here for a while, then you already know how I feel about Soap and Glory. But yeah, their body scrubs are really, really great. I love to use them on my elbows, my knees, and pretty much all over. And it just works really, really nicely. It gets rid of any dead skin that you might have if your skin's looking a little bit more rough than normal then just pull this bad boy out and you know exfoliate on your elbows and places of that nature and it will really leave everything just feeling really nice and smooth and this also smells really great as well i love the way that it smells i'm all about smelling good and you know just smelling like summertime and springtime so another scrub that i've really 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 been enjoying this one is by capari and i really didn't know too much about them before i featured them in my beauty box but i was able to sample some of their products and i just ended up falling in love so i made a really big purchase from them not too long ago and i love their items so pretty much everything that they have on their site it has coconut oil in it and coconut oil is really amazing for your skin well this scrub right here is called 
coconut crush scrub. Y'all, it is everything. It is so, so great. So this is actually a new one because I ordered a few of them. I actually got like two of these and then I ordered some body oils and some other things. But this, this smells so good, you guys. I wish that I had smell of vision so you could smell it. So as you guys can tell, it's a darker color. It's not near as light as the um, Body Scrub by Soap and Glory, but it does have a thicker consistency. And I just love the way that it smells and it gives your skin a really nice supple feeling. So it's just gonna be really nice for the warmer weather and you're just gonna look really nice and glowy whenever you use some type of exfoliant. But you know, it doesn't have to be soap and glory and it doesn't have to be Capari, but any type of exfoliant is going to be necessary. It is necessary during the warmer months. So this next thing that I'm gonna talk about, I know a few of you might give me a little bit of a side eye about this, but I don't care because I absolutely love this stuff. So this is by Saint Tropez and this is a self tanner. It's their bronzing mousse and I absolutely love this stuff. And it's not just for Caucasian babies, like anybody can use this stuff. I pretty much use it just to give myself a more even skin complexion because I do have like a few scars on my legs and on my arms. So I just use this to make everything look a little bit more even out and it also gives you a really nice bronze so it is a mousse so it comes out in a moussey consistency and you just um, put it on and you rub it in I do have a um, mitten so I just bought this new one because I couldn't find the one that um, that I used last summer so yeah you can buy these separate from the actual mousse but I think it does come as I think it does come in a set as well. But yeah, I just purchased this little um, mitten and this just helps rub it in so you don't get it all over your hands. But it's really nice if you just kind of want to conceal some scars that you might have on your legs, even like stretch marks or something. If you don't want it to look so visible, then this will definitely help you get that more healthy looking, just really even skin tone. And I absolutely love this stuff. And next up we have the Bliss Fat Girl Slim Hide and Glow Sleek. So this product is really similar to to the product that I just showed you guys. So it does claim to kind of firm any areas on your body that you know might be a little bit cellulite or anything like that. I do have a, a few other products by them that does that as well. I don't feel like this one really helps with the firmness so much, but it does really help as far as, um, you know, maybe concealing anything that you have on your body because it is a tenant body spray. So you pretty much just spray it on your body. You can spray it directly on, or you can, you know, well, you can't really spray it in your hand because it does kind of spray like an aerosol. Like it just sprays out like that. It just sprays out like that. And what I like to do is just spray it all over my body. And then I use the same men that I use with the Saint Tropez and I just kind of, you know, rub it all over and it does have a little bit of a tint so that does help with concealing this would be something that I would use more on an everyday basis versus like the Saint Tropez I would use if I was gonna be like in my bathing suit if I was like going to the beach but this I would use like if I just wanted my arms to look a little bit more even because they are a little bit you know discolored one size you know a little bit darker and the other size lighter like this is just something that I would use on like more of an everyday basis and a moisturizer that I've really been loving for probably the last two summers or so is this bum bum cream this brazilian bum bum cream y'all this stuff is so amazing they do have a full line of different products so they have moisturizer they have body wash they have body oils they have so many different items but i feel like my favorite is this moisturizer so it does have something in it that is supposed to help firm you know it's supposed to help firm your bum you know if you feel like it's a little bit you know saggy or something well not saggy because i mean it's not gonna completely just lift the sag up but it's gonna tighten it a little bit but I do feel like this has an active ingredient that does kind of help firm things if you feel like you know it's just looking a little bit you know not tight if it's not you know if it's looking a little cellulite -y. I don't know I just feel like this stuff works but I will say in combination with the gym like I feel like if you're going to the gym making it do what it do and you're using this that you're probably gonna notice a difference but this stuff it smells so great it's a really great fragrance and I just think it's perfect for the spring and summertime so like I was telling you guys earlier I made a really huge purchase from Capari and one thing that I decided to pick up was this coconut balm and this stuff is really nice like I told you guys coconut is just a amazing for your skin it has so many amazing benefits so this one's really nice it's a very thick consistency it is a bomb you have to really squeeze to get it out but as you guys can tell definitely comes out slowly but surely and it's just it feels so good 
and it's just going to make your skin look so nice and glowy as you guys can tell look at that like it just really makes your skin look nice and healthy and if you really don't want to fork out the money on this then you could just go ahead and pick you up some aquaphor it's pretty much going to do the same thing and it's a lot more affordable and this is really great you know if you have cracked heels or anything like that that needs special attention then aquaphor will definitely help with that so that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about as far as body care. And I feel like that was so much, but there's like so much more that I could talk about, but I feel like that's just enough. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to makeup. So I do have a few things that I wanna talk about in this category. So we're gonna start off with moisturizer. SPF moisturizer is definitely a must when it's warmer outside. I mean, it's a must all the time because sun rays are always harmful to your skin, but especially when the sun is beaming a little bit more you want to make sure that you're wearing SPF on your skin um, I didn't really mention one for the body but I do like the one by L'Oreal but there's still stuff in boxes here so I wasn't able to find some things that I want to mention but I definitely wanted to mention this by Mac this is the studio moisture fix and it's SPF 15 and this is really great to put on your face before you apply your foundation another great SPF moisturizer is one by Olay like I told you guys we still have stuff in boxes from moving because we really haven't taken everything out of um the boxes as far as our bathroom items because we will be remodeling our bathroom soon so i just didn't want to take all of that stuff out the boxes put it in cabinets and then take it out again put it in boxes and put it away i was like that's just team too much so we love a lot of our body care items in the boxes because you know they're gonna be destroying the bathrooms really soon but i really love the mac moisturizer with spf and also the olay one those are really nice so if you're looking for something to um give you a little bit extra protection on your face during the summertime then I would say definitely check these out and there will be links below so you guys can reference them. all right guys so moving right along we're gonna go ahead and talk about foundations so the first one I want to talk about is by L'Oreal and this is the infallible pro matte foundation this is a really nice foundation for the warmer weather because it's a demi matte finish and what's really great about that is it's never going to make you look dull you know sometimes when you get a matte foundation it gives you that dull look where you look like you just have no life whatsoever this foundation is not going to do that to you it's just going to make you it's going to keep you matte but it's also going to you know give you a little bit of life to your skin and just make it look really nice and just you know awake and i really like to apply this foundation with a damp beauty blender i feel like it just gives me really nice coverage and it gives me that really nice finish that i like for the warmer weather the next foundation that i wanted to mention really quickly is a newbie for me and this is by nars it's their natural radiant long wear foundation so as far as foundation i feel like nars pretty much has it covered they have a wide range of shades and they also have a few different types of foundations so i just really love of NARS foundations so yeah this one's really nice I've only tried it a few times but the reason that I think it's going to be nice for the summertime is because it's not a really heavy foundation it goes on really perfect but it also gives you great coverage and I'm always looking for a foundation that's not heavy but gives great coverage so you guys know that I absolutely love my Becca ultimate coverage foundation but that one you know it is a little bit of a thicker consistency but this one is not thick like that but it also gives you nice coverage and and I feel like it gives you, you know, a radiant glow. So it's just going to be really nice. And if you are oily and you're afraid of foundations that have, you know, like radiant or glowy or anything like that, all you have to do is use it in combination with like a primer that's going to help with oils or something like that. So if I use a foundation like this, I like to use like um, a mattifying primer. So um, let's see one that I like like Milani has a really nice one and then Becca also has a nice one as well so normally if I wear something that's going to be radiant or glowy I go ahead and use some type of primer like that so it does create that extra barrier so the oils aren't really you know coming through so now I'm going to talk to you guys about eyeshadow so this very first palette is by Morphe and I love this palette because it is a warm palette you guys know how I feel about my warm shades so this is what the palette looks like it's absolutely gorgeous so this is the day slayer it's 15d 
and I love all the different shades in it because it is really nice and warm and it's not too big so you could get this in a makeup bag whenever you're going on vacation you know if you need to um, throw this in a small makeup bag then I do feel like this is relatively small especially compared to their other eyeshadow palettes because some of them are really really big but um yeah I love the colors in this really nice um if you want a really nice warm smoky eye I actually use this palette to get the look that I have on my eyes right now and I do have a discount code in case you guys are interested in Morphe and then another palette that I've been using here recently by them is the 24G Grand Glam and as you guys can tell, the eyeshadows are really, really big in this palette. Now, this isn't something that you would take on vacation, obviously, because as you can tell, it's really big and you know, you're not gonna be throwing this in any type of makeup bag, but it is really great, you know, if you just want something that has a little bit of warmth to it. I love warm eyeshadows. I know some people are like totally over it, but I just feel like warm is in. Like, I just love a nice warm eye. And this just has a nice variety, so it's really great. But um, yeah, you can definitely just kind of browse on Morphe's website because they have so many different palettes to choose from. If you are more of a cool tone kind of girl, then you can definitely find, you know, cooler toned eyeshadows shadow palettes on their website. Now I want to talk about this Fraselli, this Fraselli jelly. So this is the jelly beam and y'all this stuff is so nice. I've only used it a few times but it's really really great. So you can actually use this on your face for a highlight. It only takes a little small amount because literally a small amount goes a long way and you pretty much just rub it into your skin and you're gonna be glowing. You are going to glow. It's really, really, really beautiful. And you can also just use it all over your body if you want an extra glow. So this would pretty much be like a two-in-one. If you didn't wanna have to buy any of these extra products for you know um, blowing up your body, you could buy this and you could use it as your highlight for your cheeks and then you could also use it all over your body. But as you guys can tell, it does have a jelly consistency. And it doesn't really have a fragrance to it, so. So last but not least, we're gonna finish this video up talking about setting spray. So I actually read a comment last night where someone was like, I never see you use a setting spray in your videos, like as far as your tutorials, do you use one? So yes, I do use a setting spray. I actually have a lot of them that I use, but these are just the two that I'm going to pinpoint today. But um, the first one I wanna talk about is by Morphe, and this is the Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray. So. You know, it just comes in a bottle like this. I don't know why I'm smelling everything today. I guess I want everything to smell really beachy and, you know, just yummy today. But I'm just going to go ahead and spray this all over my face right now. It just makes your skin feel so refreshed and just so rejuvenating. And this is really nice if you're going to the beach because you can put this in the cooler because it is like this steel kind of, you know, aerosol bottle. It will um, actually make the product inside really cool and you can spray it all over your face for just a really nice, just, you know, just a refresher. You know, if you're at the beach and you feel like you're getting a little warm, this is really nice. And I do feel like it helps your makeup um, last a little bit longer. And then another one that I have that's really nice is this one by Urban Decay. Okay, and this is the all nighter so this one it actually helps with the oil so if you do have oily skin and you feel like the oil is just gonna kind of take over your makeup this is really nice to spray on your face to kind of you know set everything and make it last a little bit longer um so they do have another one that i think is like the d slick or something i don't know i feel like they have so many different ones of this i don't know there's so many different setting sprays but i do really like these by urban decay i like the morphe one. Oh, the smash is it smashbox primer water there's a primer water that i really like that i could not find that i wanted to mention but i could not find it but yeah uh, i will link it below in case you guys want to check that one out as well but it's in a clear bottle it has the black lid on it can't think of the name, but I will link it below. And then also Scandinavia. Like, I feel like you can never go wrong with Scandinavia. It's definitely an OG in my book. I've been using it probably the longest. Um, it's just really, really nice. I used to use it on a lot of my brides. And, you know, they would all say that it really helped their makeup last a little bit longer. You know, especially just from, you know, doing everyday things, not hiking or nothing like that. But, yeah, Scandinavia is just really great as far as making your foundation and making your makeup just last a wee bit longer.
All right, you guys, so I feel like this video was forever and a day long, but if you made it to the end, thank you so much for rocking with your girl. Hopefully this video gave you a few different ideas on some different products to try for the warmer weather. I'm super duper excited for spring and summertime. The weather here in Alabama has just been so bipolar, like literally it's cold one day, it's warm one day, it's raining one day. You never know what the weather is going to be like here, but I'm just so ready for the warmer weather and you know we can wear like our little spaghetti straps and wear our daisy dukes not too short though but you know we can keep it classy we can look cute and classy i'm super duper excited though for the warmer weather and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then be sure to give it a big thumbs up and as always i will talk to you all in the next video bye